Hello and welcome. What we're here to discuss today is the synchronous speed of a motor. So the synchronous speed of a motor, we're going to refer to it as the N sync. So N being speed in revolutions per minute, sync being synchronous. This is the speed of the rotating magnetic field. So we're talking about here's my motor, here's my stator on the outside with all my poles wrapped around with my three uh, stator conductors, which are hooked up to my source. Now we're talking about the actual speed of that rotating magnetic field, whether it be counterclockwise or clockwise, inside that stator. What is the speed of the rotating magnetic field? So now that speed of the rotating magnetic field is going to play into the actual speed that the rotor is spinning. The rotor is going to be spinning about, you know, two to eight percent less than the rotating speed of the magnetic field at full load. But we're just talking about how fast is that rotating field actually spinning. So what we want to do here is we uh, want to think back to some previous videos, which I'll link up top. Um, when we talked about, we in, uh, had a formula which was frequency equals poles times speed over 120. So that was a formula that we talked about, about, you know, when I'm generating the number of poles in my generator, the speed I rotate it divided by 120, which is a constant, um, gives me the actual frequency of the source. Now what we're talking about is we're going to use this same formula, only we're going to transpose it. We're going to have a set frequency because we're connected to a source. So we're going to talk about 60 Hertz. So we're going to take that formula and we're going to go N sync equals all right, we're going to transpose that. So we're going to go frequency times 120 divided by the number of poles. So, right, of course, will always be 60 hertz times 120 and divided by the number of poles. Now, this is the number of individual poles. So in this motor here, I'm a two pole motor. So I have two poles per phase. Two poles for the A phase, two poles for the B phase, and two poles for the C phase. And that of course is most likely going to be, you know, stamped right on the nameplate. It's going to say my FLA and it's going to say poles. Or it's going to say two pole, four pole, something like that. It's always going to be an even number. There has to be a north and a south, right? So in this case with two poles, right, if we were to run that math, if we had two poles, our synchronous speed would be 3,600 revolutions per minute. 60 times 120 divided by two gives us 3,600. A four pole motor, which is pretty common, would give us 1,800 revolutions per minute. A six pole motor would be 1,200. An eight pole motor, 900. A 10 pole motor, 720. A 12 pole motor, 600, right? So it keeps going down like that but the whole time I'm just using that formula there. Um, so that's just kind of a quick overview of how I would calculate or figure out the synchronous speed of a motor, provided that I know the frequency that I'm connecting it to and the number of poles, right? So it comes all down to this formula. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Check out all my other videos and have a great day.